making our first stop out of the whole trip to Colorado. Uh, we're actually quick, making a quick stop in New Mexico at a volcano that we found. Um, there's a road all the way up to it and you can drive around the rim of it and there's also snow up there. So we're gonna see our first bit of snow. That's what it's called, Capulin Volcanic National Monument. There's the volcano over there, sort of covered by clouds, but you can see it. It's pretty cold. It's pretty cold. There's the volcano. Like, wow, that's huge. It's oh. freezing. Oh my goodness. We did not bring the proper clothes for this. We're gonna pull the RV in somewhere because the roads up there are a little bit too small to have the RV with us. So we gotta find a place to pull the RV in. I'm lined up. You're lined up. Let's go, guys. <laughs> it's cold. It's cold. It's cold. It's cold. <laughs> Doggy's barking. She must be quite the photo. Look, guys. This this is made out of volcanic rock here. And all the rocks you see, pretty much everything around here, all those rocks under the trees, that little mound over there, that's all volcanic rock. Weird views from here. <laughs> I, well, there's a lava flow trail. Would go on it, but it's uh, currently like 50, 40 degrees, and we did not bring the right clothes. I'm just wearing thin sweatpants and a hoodie and flip flops. So, yeah, we're about to get all of our hiking shoes on because we've got some hiking shoes we have a couple more jackets we're gonna put on uh, layer wise and then maybe once we get into a town we'll run into a Target or a Columbia and get us some proper snow gear since we're going to Colorado and we'll be snowing there anyways Alrighty, I got my boots on got my second jacket on I just have to say it's crazy that it's supposed to be summer and there's snow up there like we just got warned not to go on some of the trails because it had snowed like crazy earlier so We'll see what happens. And there's the first bit of snow. Some snow there. And that's the center of the volcano right down there. made it back and it's so cold I can't imagine what Canada is going to be during the summer. So we're going to hop in the car, go pick up the trailer since we, we couldn't bring it up and then make our way towards Colorado again. It was worth the stop, it was worth the stop, it's pretty cool. The snow is so surreal here, like the camera doesn't capture the colors, like the kind of bluish atmosphere that it looks like. I can try my best to recreate it in like um, post-processing, but 
you got to come here to see it. So everyone just went inside to grab us some sleds because we're going to go to the Great Sand Dunes. And it's the only day we have here in Colorado because by the time we leave, uh, we are actually wanting to visit another national park, just like how we made the stop in New Mexico for that volcano. We're leaving tomorrow. Uh, we're hoping to leave by seven. And today we're just gonna do a hike and sled some sand dunes. And then we're gonna be on our way to our next stop. the way up to slide down from pretty much the top um, with no gear or anything. This is very stupid and I'm very tired. But it's gonna be worth it I think. It looks crazy up here. Um, really decent view. Almost at the top. currently on a 4x4 trail in the truck because our truck has 4x4 and an off-road um, package. It's got the GoPro set up here. It says we're driving to the point of no return and there is a warning sign saying 4x4 vehicles only. So I mean it seems like people get stuck on this often. So this was mom's idea. She found it on the map that it was a uh, off-roading four-wheel drive only road and we are off-roading in the truck and um, mom is uh, enjoying you, it. You hear that, dad? I want it to four by four. But if we get stuck, I will be the first to cry, <laughs> as you know. <laughs> Off-roading in Moab, maybe. Look up to it. <laughs> wow!
absolutely beautiful. It's amazing. It's so cool. Like, it looks awesome. All right, so it's really loud in here because of the waterfall, but it's amazing. Brilliant. It's awesome. A little bit hard to get to, to it, uh, going over some rocks. But when you get here, that right there is ice. And then the waterfall comes from like up, somewhere up there, but you really got to get in there to see it. It's pretty high up. We're over 9,000 feet. Plenty of ice in the rocks and slick. So we're finally on the road leaving Colorado, but we're gonna stop one more place. It's a national park, and I'm gonna surprise you guys with it because it's pretty cool.